Welcome to the Flavor of Marriage. I'm Wendy. And I'm Jerry, AKA Flavor J. <sighs> Today we're gonna be talking about the one ingredient that is in everything you make. That's right, love. Aw, nope, science. I. Yeah, so anytime you're cooking, you are using science. I was never very good with science. No, well, you're not very good at cooking either. Well, I happen to know about a little something about the science of umami. Why are you talking about umami? Because I recently learned about the science of umami from our friend Chris. Now to understand what umami is, we have to sort of get into a little bit of protein science because when you understand the science, it all makes sense. And it starts with something called glutamic acid. And glutamic acid is an amino acid. Now what is an amino acid? An amino acid is one of the building blocks of how you put a protein together. So there's about 20 different amino acids and to make different proteins, you essentially combine them in different combinations and that's what makes all the different proteins out there. And glutamic acid is one of the most common amino acids out there. In fact, one of the most common amino acids in our body. So step two, we have this protein all stuck together and in the protein you have pieces of glutamic acid. And what needs to happen to bring this umami flavor about is we have to separate out the glutamic acid from the rest of the protein. And that's done through lots of different ways, lots of different natural ways actually. And once that glutamic acid is free from the rest of the protein, that's what we call a free glutamic acid. Now, what's so important about that? Well, that is the beginning of how we get umami. Because when we sense this umami sensation in our mouth, the taste of umami, what we're really tasting is that free glutamic acid that gets bound up with a sodium. And so sodium, of course, is a very common element. You put the two together, and that's how we get umami. When that molecule hits our taste buds, there's certain receptors that will essentially light up when that molecule bumps into the receptor, and what translates into our brain is this umami sensation or that sensation of deliciousness. Makes total sense. It's, it's like I am the glutamic acid. You remember that apartment I had in college? With, with Kevin, Kevin, yes. Oh, it was so horrible. And you came by, to my horrible apartment and you're like, hey, what's up? This is a horrible apartment, but you're pretty cute. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then you freed me from the apartment. Ah! And now my life is complete. Okay, wait, if you're MSG, then what is, what is this? It's my old apartment. Oh yeah, that's actually, that's pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. Now there's another molecule that we have to consider when we talk about this umami sensation. And that's something called a ribonucleotide. Big name for a molecule. But why it's so important is that if you take that molecule, the ribonucleotide, and combine it with the umami molecule, those two come in contact with each other inside your mouth or in the food that you're making. What happens is you get a synergistic effect to the flavor of the food. What does that mean? Well. If we think about putting the two together, normally it would be one plus one equals two. You put the two together and you get a little bit of a flavor boost. What happens though with these particular molecules is you get one plus one equals four, or even one plus one equals eight. What does that mean? That means we have a flavor explosion inside of our mouth. And we chefs, we want to take full advantage of that because it makes the food taste great. So I get, so MSG is like us. Like, you know how when we get, got married, it's like one plus one, now you're, the, the two become one. Yeah, two become one. Right, except for it's really you plus me equals eight. Like, like Wendy and Jerry plus eight. Are we having the kid talk now? No, 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 no. It's a lot of kids. Oh, I both, I 